Hello YouTube, this is your friendly YouTube neighbor Kendall Wolf One. Back with another excuse me installment of Persona 5 Royal. Wow. I'll see you later then. <sighs> Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold, or quite foolish. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. You mean Medjed. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. I already plan to. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. Does that mean I'm gonna be a good kind ranger? Lupin. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. Yeah, I think it might be a Lupin Ranger. I didn't think Medjed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? Entertained. Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent, so this is what the public thinks. Oops, I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. Get it. There's been any news on the Phantom Thieves versus Med Jet showdown. Which of them will come out on top? Both just criminals pretending to be heroes. If you ask me, Med Jet causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their sights on. I see. Well, I just hope something happens soon. But you gotta tell me, who do you think will win? Buzzing earlier. I've got a lot of messages from an unknown account. Nice to meet you. I'm the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal a heart? Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? There is someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medjet, correct? I can give you the information on them if the change of heart is successful. If you so desire, I can take care of them as well. Do 
you believe in my skills, I can track down their account just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I have prepared the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? How should I respond? Who is this? Can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. Hmm? You can't reply back? I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait. Might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then, does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high-tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, is this person measured? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is... Only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens... Yeah. So, somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? LeBlanc, not LeBlanc. LeBlanc, LeBlanc. Oh, what's with the big group? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm, is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. Student council president, eh? I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. We have late breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. 
Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjid also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjid as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? Don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. I know, I haven't gone to mail, any, mail or anything. A calling card? Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. I really started turning up the heat on the forums. I put a special post up and everything. The showdown between the Just Phantom Thieves and the global organization MedJet is here. Reactions have been great too. Everyone is really engaged. So far, most of the comments have been pro Phantom Thieves. Most likely because of what happened in the Hanashiro case. Those on the other side say MedJet are hackers of justice. There's nothing resembling justice in what they do. Someday I want the whole site to be filled with pro thieves comments. Looking forward to when that day finally arrives. He can look forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Medjed. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. Mm. Is that the Alibaba character or I know a point calling card? What the hell's going on? Yeah, it looks like I can't go anywhere. So let's train. Oh, you wanna do it? Yes. Now, let's carry out our plan. He's holding yep. on to my legs. <laughs> kind of cute. Sorry. <laughs> the regular pull is not good enough anymore. Perhaps I pushed you too hard. Nice going. All right. Makes me up by seven. All right. And another by two. Well then.
Good morning. Hi, Kasumi. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Summer break is coming up. So that's what your plans are, Senpai. What about you? So, anyway. I'll mostly be doing training with the gymnastics team. If I have free time, I'll be doing self training. Oh, would you like to join me, Senpai? Whenever you're available would be fine. Oh, the train is here. Let's get going then. I see no train. And now I do. Hey, your phone's buzzing. Dali Baba message you. Uh, it's just Ryuji. Nothing. Let us know ASAP tries to get in touch with you. Okay. Okay. Let us see, Mr. Matthew. Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? Good day. Good day to you too. Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Hmm, I appreciate your honesty. I take it you received the calling card. So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? Hmm, you're a surprisingly diligent student. Now then, I have prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? Steal from who? What do you mean by that? Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have the calling card? Tell him. We need the name of the target. What's the target? I need... What's the target's name? A name? Is your heart deeply truly impossible without such information? It is. I see. Hmm. I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well. I'll tell you. I believe their name was... Futaba Sakura. If you fail in this mission, I'll expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Who is Futaba Sakura? So he threatened you, then just took off? Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. In any case... We should let everyone know about this. Yeah. That's the boss's last name. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's boss's last name! Does he have Didn't any I family? Not just say that. Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. 
That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. What's up? Who's Futaba Sakura? Why do you know about that? <sighs> it's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Uh, Looks like it's a hit. Oh, I just remembered. Kendo, were you able to ask Boss about the top of Sakura? I tried. So, no results. Could there be a reason as to why that was? Alibaba might be our only hope at defeating Medjet. Wish we could get some info about Futaba at a boss. Trying to force it out would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owe a great deal to both Boss and Kendo. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. It's probably best to wait for Boss to bring the subject up himself. <laughs> and I still can't, well, I can leave the cafe, but I mean, I can't travel around to other areas. So a training I shall do oh, go. Do a training I shall go. Hi ho Gary -o, a training I shall go. Yes. Now, let's carry out our plan. Yep. Ignore my heaviness. Wait, is all in your mind. <laughs> this is more fun than I thought. <laughs> Looks like I've improved a little. Nice going. All right. HP up by seven. All right. And HP up by one. Well then. Yo, tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but ugh, we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. Ugh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway... Asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. Then again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. <laughs> Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow. But don't forget, there's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. An unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over break. Got it? Don't go someplace shady like the red light district. Don't go to the beach after dark. Don't want to go to the beach. I'm going to jump in some cold water. <sighs> Seems like we won't be having fun in our summer break for a while.
Unfortunately, you gotta ask everybody. Chief buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. This place is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome. Hmm, Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Uh, sorry, come again. We didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. <sighs> you read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. <laughs> you're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. I spit in your coffee. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. What's with that look? You got something to say? What was that? This doesn't involve you. Is Futaba your daughter? That's enough! Just behave yourself, and keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the Chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Those are some of the best nights to train when you can't yes. leave. Now, let's carry out our plan. Of course, it's also good for making coffee and curry. Yep.
A woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Uh, What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? There's no way. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Is it Alibaba? Giving you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? Told you I'd help you if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. A selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about Tell me her keywords. Keywords? What are you talking about? I'm just saying random stuff to dodge the issue. What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity. Try asking him if there's any way... I want to meet you. Meet with me? That will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. He can't go out? Wait, I get it. Still people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment. Thinking... Okay, it's a shame. I'm calling calling this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. If this ever happens, I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now if you'll excuse me. Get the deals off. We're going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? Doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kanashiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got 150,000 yen out of it! That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut! Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too! Mmm, sushi. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? <laughs> Sushi's fine. Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Let's 
carry out our plan. Mmm, protein shake. Yep. And at some point, once you're training up at home, we're kind of going to say that you're not really going to get anything more from there. And that's when you start hitting up the gym. You seem quite busy, sai -san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Medjid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd, but don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, sai -san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves, without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. That's kind of dark, Sai. Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, he's no, on something. Well then, it's called Shut victory. Up, Akechi. Okay. Ink. All right. out of this world uh, excuse me I don't see any prices listed here it's called market price don't worry about it we got the cash so good hey is the fatty tuna ready yet eat your horses and don't talk by the way is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? Well, I mean, he makes me live in an mind. attic. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? <laughs> no chance. Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait. You think Alibaba could be boss's ex-wife? He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. <laughs> mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. 
Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Crap. Uh, um, the fan fantastic. This sushi is delicious. Phantom Thieves. Enthusiast. <laughs> the fish is so fresh. <laughs> Everywhere we go, we hear about these Phantom Thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up Boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Hey, everyone in the sushi restaurant. Do you know that we're the Phantom Thieves? Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Akechi-kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Ah, English again! Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. A, a total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Hell yeah. Hmm. So you share the majority's opinion. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you gotta say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, it's called considering the Phantom Kamashita Cave. was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. You're just a Phantom Thief. Me? You're siding with him? I wasn't anticipating that response. You always find a way to rise <laughs> above my expectations. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what the hell are you saying? Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? You think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but... Maybe best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Majed. Oh yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. 
we will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, <clears throat> it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We can talk more over there. The whole time just we went holding our Switch leftovers out. Our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I know where his house is. I agree. It's real late though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here, too. Ah, oh, the gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. Whoa, it sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. My apologies, boss. Hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. My arm, not my hand. I can sense 
someone's presence. Who is it? Who's there? I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. No. no. My legs won't move. He's home. Why are you guys hiding? Who the hell are you? Don't move. You hear me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, sis. Somebody, please save me. You? What are you doing in my house? Uh... You're. Oh, uh, good, good evening, sir. Uh, we, uh, we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? That's we not up to me, friends. that's up to the viewers. Friends nowadays get that close to each other? But that's not it. This, um, uh, things happened and... You kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. Uh, I do that sometimes. Because I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here, isn't there? Yeah, my daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. As long as you can explain everything soon, my time well, limit's almost up. Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that had changed after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. What about her father? There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. Did she die? Yes. She committed suicide. Suicide? Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. 
So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. Don't worry about it. Thanks. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. What does Futaba want? I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So... Can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. We do need clues. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat after all. The trains are going to be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning, after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? 